everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today as I guess it's episode four, which I'm pretty jazzed about as well. I've had a lot of requests from people for this soup. It is absolutely amazing and it is inspired by Ayurvedic um, sort of teachings and, and concepts. So it's incredibly fantastic for you, anti-inflammatory, super healthy, it's vegan, it's gluten-free. It's all of those things that sound like it might not be delicious, but it is fantastic. So come on, let's go, let's get started and make some delicious soup. So here we're setting up all of our raw ingredients for our mise en place, making our life very easy and fun to cook with. So there we have it, our raw ingredients. And now for our spices. So here we are getting ready to dry toast the spices, some cumin, a little bit of coriander seed, a little bit of black pepper, and we're adding a little bit of chilies in there. Just keeping it shaking and heating it up until it's fragrant and smells amazing, but is not brown, just a little bit of color. smells incredible. Now we have to grind this up. We can do the old-fashioned method, which is in a mortar and pestle, and give that a really good uh, exercise in there, getting that broken down. Or you can uh, put it in a grinder. If you have a coffee grinder or a spice grinder, it works fantastic as well. Seriously, wish you could smell this. It is absolutely so fragrant. So now we're adding some coconut oil here uh, because we wanted to keep it vegan. A lot of recipes do call for ghee and if you're not vegan and want to have the ghee, that's a great option as well. We're adding in our onions. We really want to saute these onions and not brown them. We just want to get them translucent. With the onions, we also want to add in the other alums like the shallots that have been finely minced and of course garlic who doesn't love garlic so now a little bit of salt helps break this down and helps the process along you can see how beautiful that is now that's the nice translucent stage so we're ready for the fresh pepper this happens to be jalapeno but you can add any fresh pepper you like a bit of dry as well the chilies and our beautiful spice mixture Adding in the different fresh and dry give you different layers of flavor. Here's some curcumin turmeric from a fresh turmeric, just dried, and our bay leaves. A bit of cinnamon stick, and then some cinnamon powder too. Why not? Cooking that together, releasing those beautiful smells, and really marrying those flavors together. Fresh turmeric, uh, beware if you don't want yellow fingers, wear a glove. <laughs> and there's the fresh ginger. Love these fresh, fresh roots going in there. Again, the smell is really wonderful. A little bit of dry ginger is also terrific. I want to intensify those flavors and have those different layers. You can see that uh, sauteing, ready for some celery, chopped, and some carrots. The carrots will give a little bit of sweetness to offset. There's a lot of heat in there. So now we're cooking this, and we've been cooking this for a while until it's really softened those vegetables so that we can add these crushed canned tomatoes in there. Now we need a little bit of liquid as well so we're adding in some uh, tomato passat. It's just basically ground tomato. A little water in there just rinsing out the jar because we do need some liquid in there. Give that a really good stir. Put some a little more heat now up and adding in that light coconut milk. Absolutely delicious tastes way more decadent than the calories and the fat would show. Now we're bringing this up to the simmer. There we go. 
and adding in those beautiful red lentils that are going to really plump up. You're gonna to have to cook these for a while. A lot of recipes say 15 minutes. I found this was cooking for almost an hour till it got nice and softened. Realized I needed a little more liquid, some vegetable stock that I had in the freezer just to help those lentils plump up. Then we bring it to the boil and it has been simmering for almost an hour. Look at how thick that is. Delicious, the smell. Whoa, I can hardly wait to dig into that. Thank you so much for joining me today as we made this absolutely delicious soup together. And I'm hoping that you're gonna try it at home. And if you do, please let me know what you thought of it. It is my absolute go-to favorite. If you enjoyed the episode, you know the drill. Please click like, share, comment, and subscribe. That would be great. It really means a lot to me and I appreciate that. And on that note, I'm going to sign off and say, just with a little reminder, everyone deserves more of the better things in life. So join us next week as we continue to explore more of the big and the little things that can make your life just a little more better. And on that note, I'm going to dig into this absolutely delicious soup. Ciao, guys. Mm. Mm. <laughs>